T here and I have a birthday present for CB and what was it? What was it I got you? Uh, it was an electric scooter. We got the electric scooter. That's right. We got this razor right here. As you can see, we have the razor and we're going to unbox this razor and see what we got inside, right? Are we yeah. gonna run? Are we gonna have fun? Yeah! Alright, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's in it. First things first, we gotta open the box, right? Yeah. Alright. What's in here? There's Paper, this. that's for you. That's for you. Alright, we got this whole thing right here. Oh, we only get it out. There we go. Take the box away, please. Okay. Take the box away, please. There we go. Anything else in the box? Nothing else. Just a paper. Just a paper. All right. Now we have this scooter right here. And let's see. It has a kickstand, I thought. Does it have a kickstand? Let's turn it around. So you have this right here. We have a kickstand. So if we put that kickstand down there, we can hold this thing right here and we can do all sorts of things with it. Uh, we have to cut some things, so I need to have a pair of scissors, yes. So we'll cut the zip tie here, there we go. Thank you my lovely assistant. And we got a bag. Full of parts. Full of parts, what is that? That's a charger. We have a charger in it, that's right. We don't, we don't need a battery. And we have a tool. We have an Allen wrench. I wonder what that's for. And then the instructions. Uh, this Allen wrench here. I bet you we use this on these parts right here. What do you think? Yeah, because look at this right here. You think that goes on there like that? Yeah, it's just we need a... All right. This is tall. We got to get this thing on here, right? Looks like it's awful tight. Yep. We might have to undo this bottom one here because it's a little bit on the tight side. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Yep. We have to we open that up. This. Oh, I dropped that. I'll get it. There we go. Then we got to make sure the wheel is lined up straight. We need this. And then all we do is we tighten up yep. this Allen wrench here, making sure it's all straight. Sound effects. Sound effects? You're playing with the drill, aren't you? <laughs> now, you got to get this all lined up straight. Making sure the tire is straight with the steering. Let's yep. Hold on, let's see if we can't get this all nice and straight. There we go. Let's see if I can drift through this. Yep. You're drilling with it? Yep. There, once we get it tight, then we can tighten the other one. It doesn't take much. A little Allen tool here. You having fun with that drill? Yes, <laughs> Evie, you having fun with that? Yep, I got the instructions right here and it says drill, drill four holes, three on the side and one in the middle point straight through the box. Now let's see if I got it straight enough because I wanted to make sure. Yeah buddy, we got it straight. Now we'll put it back up here with this kickstand. So we have to get rid of some of this stuff here. They have all this packing on here. So we'll get this cut off of here. Package off, you need to, to tie the balloon in, in this. And the tire looks like it feels like it's very well aired up, 36 PSI for the front tire, and it feels like it's well aired up. Yep. We 
we're going to cut off all these other pieces and information that we have here. Uh, got a sticker over the top part here. I'm going to try to remove this sticker. Actually, I think this is a... Uh, This is like a little warning sticker. It says, kick off. In other words, kick yourself going. You got to get the scooter moving first. And then you twist the handle back for the throttle to make it go. And that's all you got to do. But this does not start from a dead start. Okay? You have to actually kick it to get it moving. And once you get that done, then the thing moves. And uh, you can go, I guess they say 10 or 11 mile an hour. Now this is the Power Core E100. Well, what does that mean? Uh, well, not sure what it is. They have the E100, but this is the Power Core, and what I understand is it has more battery capacity to make it run longer, like up to one hour. It has a weight capacity of 120 pounds with an eight-year-old qualification standard. That means you have. To, are you eight? How old are you now? Nine. Nine? Oh, she gets to ride it. Are you over 120 pounds? No. No? Okay, this must be for you then, right? Yeah. Okay, when can we use this? Um, Here's the thing, folks. When we're charging. <laughs> we have to charge it for yeah, 18 so hours. So she can't use it yeah. today. She could use it yeah. tomorrow. But we're going to go ahead and check something else out real quick. So you guys can see what's going on here. Uh, fit and finish, this is brand new from the shop. And I will tell you, there's a few scratches and dents in it due to the packing. But uh, overall, it's probably nothing that's going to be uh, worried about because they're going to step on it. They'll have rocks and stones in their tennis shoes and everything else. Uh, but it does have a very good uh, abrasive hold right here for the foot and one back here for the foot so let me show you that now you can see the handle you just twist it back to give it throttle it doesn't move much it's pretty much an all or nothing situation uh, so it's either full throttle or off one of the two uh, you do have your brake you have your you have your uh, front brake right here you just use your front brake and it's like basically your standard bicycle brake on the rim there so that that's pretty simple. As far as the this Mom. material here, very abrasive. As you can see, it's very abrasive. Wait a minute. Along with this abrasive patch here. Now, if you look at the light, you can see all the scratches and, and a few dents that it had in here from shipping. But like I said, uh, once you start using it, that's not really going to mean much. So we're going to go ahead. This is the little hub motor that it has on there, easily replaced, and as I understand, parts are available. So if the motor goes bad, it's a real simple process to replace. But how about the batteries? Let's go ahead and check the batteries before we charge them and see what kind of batteries it uses. Now the simple thing you do, you have two, four, six screws. So all you got to do is take your... Take your screwdriver and undo these screws and you can access the battery because the batteries are underneath here and when I say batteries I do mean batteries and I'll show you what kind of batteries they are and uh, you'll understand that you can get these batteries I bet you for 25-30 bucks online uh, so don't fret about buying batteries because uh, they're, they're really nothing special. If you have a power backup for your computer or something like that, that's really all these batteries are. And this just take, comes right off as you can see. And then right in here we have the batteries. Now, the batteries. now these batteries are held right here. You need to be very careful with them or you'll get it shot. And this bracket holds the batteries in. And you have a little rubber piece here, a zip tie that's apparently straight. But these batteries are nothing more 
than your standard UPS battery. Uh, a little bit on the thinner side. And uh, let's see what kind of a battery they are. We can't get the information here. Now these batteries are hooked up in a series so that uh, each one's a 12 volt battery. But they're hooked up in such a way uh, in the series, I believe it is, they call it, that they uh, deliver 24 volts rather than 12. If they were parallel, they'd just be a 12 volt system. But uh, it would give you a longer life because then you're dr drawing 12, but 24 volts gives you more power. Also, the multiplication of the amperage and everything will help there. But these are essentially nothing more than some small little uh, sealed lead acid batteries. And it looks like they're 12 volt. Now, these batteries are 12 volt. 6 amp looks like so here's a more information on them the type of battery and that's all it really is and the brand name I guess is long way I'm sure you can get these things for a little bit cheaper on the internet if you want to replace them than rather than going through razor but this is what you have as far as a battery now we'll just go ahead and slide this back in here and get it situated again. Oh, and you like, uh, here's the, the bracket with its screw departed. Um, the there we go. This. Don't get in front of the camera. Okay. Go ahead and put this back in here. I'm using this little Milwaukee so it won't go too tight because it has, has a torque setting so we don't get too tight on these screws. And then we just go ahead and put this all back together, don't we? Here's the first one. We'll try to hand start all the screws, right? Yeah. I'll hand start this screw. so we don't strip anything out. plug it in and charge it but when you're charging charge it, it there's a little light that comes on right here and, and that little light tells you it's charging there won't be anything on and it and the, the charger it, say, looks like this on the top little three-prong charger here that you can see uh, so you just plug that in and where do we plug it in well we plug it in right down here right yeah Flip let's it lay this down you're right in the way of the camera, sweetheart. We got a little tape over the on and off switch, don't we? See, we leave it off while we charge it. And turn off the power switch after each ride. The battery may be unable to recharge if left on without use. Yep. So we just simply take it. This is a 
pretty much a one-way plug here. You just go ahead and plug it in the direction it says to plug it in. You plug it in there and then all we have to do is find a 110 outlet and we can plug this thing in and charge it for 18 hours. That's it folks. Pretty simple little process. All you have to do is put the handlebars on with a couple Allen screws and then basically charge it. You've seen the inside, you've seen the type of batteries. So I guess all that's left is the fun. So once we get done with our 18 hours, shortly after what I say here, yeah 18 hours, it's a long time for a nine year old, but anyway, she'll be able to ride it tomorrow and we'll give you a little bit of a demonstration of how it rides here at the end of this. See you tomorrow. Shoot. To turn it, you need to push backwards and it'll go. Okay, so. To break. Hold on. Yep, go. It's a break. Okay, go. Go on. Keep going. watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production. Yeah, more so much like weight that it'll work.